Hi, I'm Jason Stemple. This is part one of a two-part tutorial. In part one, I'm going to teach you how to use Excel to dig into a Google AdWords report and determine which days and times a client's ads are most effective for sales. Additionally, we'll compare the number of clicks to the conversions to see where our client's budget is getting wasted on clicks that aren't converting. Based on what we learned from this report, we can spend more during the days and times our clients' ads have proven to perform the best and put an end to running ads on days at times that are wasting our clients' money because the clicks simply aren't converting. In part two of this tutorial, we'll set up a day parting bid rule in Google AdWords to improve the efficiency for how we spend our clients' advertising budget. To help you learn, here is a link to download the same AdWords CSV report that I'm using. Now you can follow along with part one of this tutorial step by step, performing the exact same process in Excel that I'm about to teach you. Know that you can easily jump backwards or forwards through this tutorial at any time by clicking on one of the chapters listed below in the description. Let's get started. In Google AdWords, you'll want to increase the date range to three months for this report because it's very important that the data we analyze has had enough time to develop trends. Select the Dimensions tab and click the View drop-down. Scroll down to Time and then within the side box select Day of Week. If you notice there are more than seven rows, click on Columns and then Customize Columns to get rid of campaigns or ad groups. Once that stuff is removed, click Apply. Click the Download Report button. Add a segment and click on the Segment Options drop-down. Click on Time and then select Hour of Day. Download the report and open it in Excel. Now that we have our report open, let's change the name of the worksheet to the date range of this report, which is June 1st to September 1st, 2013. And now it's safe to delete the first row of this report for cleanliness sake. Select all, and then switch from the Home tab to the Data tab, and open the Pivot Table Builder. If anything resides within one of these four quadrants in your pivot table builder when you open it, just chuck it off to the side to get rid of it. We're going to build a new pivot table from scratch. Scroll to the top of the list and select hour of day. Drag that into the column labels quadrant. Select day of week and drag that into the row labels quadrant and then scroll down this list until you find conversions and drag that into the Values quadrant. Click on the little I next to Conversions and change this from Count to Sum and click OK. Then close the Pivot Table Builder. We want to rename the worksheet with our Pivot Table to Pivot Conversions and then let's drag it to the right of the report that we downloaded. Now that we have the pivot table, we want to preserve it. So let's move the data that we need from this pivot table to a new worksheet. Highlight row labels and drag across the selection until the last data point. Copy this and create a new worksheet. Paste it into the new worksheet. Rename the worksheet day part conversions plus clicks. Change the cell labeled row labels to time and then change the zero to 12 a.m. Now click on that 12 a.m. cell and hover over the right hand corner until the plus sign turns black and then drag across all of those green cells into the last one and let go. And that will copy the formatting of, of the hour of day throughout all of the green cells. Next. We want to go back to the Home tab and we want to select all the data points. So start at the zero and scroll over to the last data point until they're all selected. 
And then we're going to apply some conditional formatting, a color scale from green to red. Perfect. Now we can easily see any cells highlighted red represent poor conversion dates and times, and any cells highlighted green represent favorable days and times for our conversions. Now we'll make another pivot table for clicks. The goal we're working towards by creating two pivot tables is being able to contrast conversion day and time popularity against click day and time popularity. Select the Pivot Conversions Worksheet and then control click on a Mac or right click on a PC to bring up the options. Choose Move or Copy, choose Pivot Conversions, create a copy, and OK. Rename the new worksheet Pivot Clicks. Select any data point and then click on the Pivot Table tab so we can open up the Pivot Table Builder. In the Values quadrant, drag out conversions and drag in clicks. Change the little i from count to sum and click OK and then close the Pivot Table Builder. Drag the worksheet to the right of Pivot Conversions and now from Row Labels, select all the way over to the last data point copy, open the day part conversions plus clicks worksheet, and then at cell 12A, paste in the new data. Select all the data points, and then go to conditional formatting, color scales, red to green. In this new table, green shows us the days and times where we have the least amount of clicks, and red shows us the days and times where we've had the most amount of clicks. With the conditional formatting, we don't have to look hard at the data to find the value. Here's what we're looking for. To start, we're looking at the conversion report for any place colored red, because those days and times aren't converting. So there's no need to spend money to run ads during those days and times. And it would be wiser to invest the money at the green days and times in the conversion report. For example, over here there's a range of days and times that aren't converting. And if we look below at the corresponding click data, we can see that they aren't getting the most clicks during those days and times. However, if we add up all of those clicks, it would be a very large number. And that's really wasteful of our client's money. So we'll want to stop running ads during those days and times. Additionally, any place in the conversion report that shows up red, which has a corresponding day and time in the click report that shows up red, means that that day and time has a lot of clicks. And in that scenario, our client is paying for a lot of clicks but not getting any return on their investment with conversions. The likely action we would take is implementing a day parting bid rule that improves the efficiency for how we spend our client's advertising budget. I'll be covering that in part two of this tutorial. Again, my name is Jason Stemple. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a plus one and share it with your friends across the web. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.